This is Mike Lewis and he's going to discuss today when and what time of the year you can trim your arborvita, your Leland cypress, and your cryptomerias. How you doing folks? Uh, the best time of year to trim your arborvitaes is really any time of the year that you have time to with the exception of probably late winter. I mean, especially if you shear them too hard you're going to get some winter burn on them. Anytime they're making active growth is fine. Right now it's middle of October. Uh, would be a good time as long as you're not going to do a hard shear on them. Anytime you do a hard shear, you probably want to wait till late, uh, real late winter on that because you have to worry about sunburn. Uh, here I'm with the Green Giant Arborvitae. Uh, it's a bigger grower. You can see some of the growth we had on this tree just this year. Um, you want to fill this plant out a little bit as a younger plant. What you want to do is to shear it symmetrically all the way around. You can take off anywhere from 2 inches to 5, 6 inches off the tips all the way around the plant uh, to give it some shape to help fill it out and you can also use it to control the height on your arbor blade. As you can see I can reach up there pretty high. Uh, this one's my fingertips are 8 feet tall. If you wanted to keep this at 8 feet um, you could probably do that for quite a number of years by continually shearing the tops back hard and it'll have a tendency to broaden out on you. Uh, Cryptomeria you do the same thing. Nigra arborvitaes, emerald green arborvitaes, I would recommend just a little softer shearing on them uh, just because it's, it's a much more tufted foliage on there. Um, you just want to make sure you trim the, sh the tree all the way around symmetrically, get a nice shape to it, uh, knock your tops back a little bit. Uh, this way you can keep it in your yard for quite a long time. If you start out with smaller plants, you can go lightly as far as your shearing goes to try to get them up to the height where you want them to be. Once you get close to the height that you want to keep them at, then you start shearing them harder. What you don't want to do is come in and take half the top off, uh, cut real hard, cut back into way in here where there's no branches, no green. If there's no green on there, the odds are it's going to have a hard time leafing back out. So you always want to leave a little bit of green on your stems and you always have a better chance of leafing out. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Yep. Are you trying to sell your home in today's bad real estate market? You probably will need help. If your neighbor is a collector and has all kinds of things around this property like trailers, sheds, piles of firewood, swing sets, garbage cans strewn around, brush, pieces of metal, and other objects that detract from the appearance of the entranceway into your property or into your neighborhood, you will run into problems trying to sell your home. If you have a neighbor such as this one who has got everything under the sun in his yard in a nice quiet residential neighborhood, you are going to have difficulty selling your property. What you will need for this kind of problem property next door is to establish some sort of a buffer. You could also have a noisy road with lots of cars zipping by in front of your house at high speeds creating now noise and, and, and visual obstructions to the beauty of your neighborhood. This is also a candidate for a screen and buffer. Here at Highland Hill Farm we have a lot of different kinds of screens and buffering trees that we offer for sale. We also deliver and plant them. We can provide you with assistance in trying to make the appearance of your property more conducive to a new prospect wanting to live at your property. There's nothing you can do about your neighbor collecting, but you can buffer him and make your property more insulated from his bad habits and hobbies by using the correct size tree and the correct type of tree. And for this, we specialize in delivery and planting to East Coast states. You can email us with pictures of your site or email us with your questions or you can call us with your questions. We would be glad to try and help you solve your problem or offer other suggestions for landscaping around your house which also may have some obstructions that are obnoxious to a to a prospect looking to buy your home such as a garbage can area or car areas or or swing sets in the backyard or you could also have a sand mound that's obnoxious 
So give us a call at 215-651-8329 and we will try and help you with your screening and buffering needs to help you sell your home.